Hello, you wonderful people. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install Nexus Mods in Baldur's Gate 3. So, this is a bit of a complicated process, and I just want to cover this step-by-step -step to help you with being able to add a bunch more mods. This also works with the in-game mod manager, so if you have a bunch of mods already installed, don't worry. It'll work perfectly alongside that, and actually gives you extra benefits that you may not have normally. So, well, first things first, got to get ourselves a mod manager. So, you first just have to go into Google here and find the Laughing Leaders Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager so you can literally just type vg3 mod manager and this is going to pop up here on github now i normally don't like using github it's a little bit confusing but i'll take you through all the steps because it's actually pretty straightforward so we're just going to go to this link here and then you're going to see laughing leaders Baldur's gate 3 you're going to see a bunch of things that may not make sense to you but we're just going to scroll down and it has some level or it has some setup guide steps here so you're going to make sure that you're going to run the game once if you haven't already so that a profile and mods folders gets created it's an important step because this allows us to put things in the correct place so make sure you have Net Framework 4.7.2 and 7.0.13 installed. You just quick, easy install. Just click the link. It's going to give you the install directly. And this has some support for other games too. So you may already have it. But if not, you're just going to click and download it there. And you're just going to click here, grab the latest release. So this will give you a download here of the Laughing Leaders Mod Manager. So you're just going to go into your folders and you're just going to go to Downloads. And you got the Baldur's Gate 3 mod loader there. So we're just going to go and extract all. And this is going to take us... It's going to hit enter this will open up and give us the mod manager latest here so there it is um i'm just going to delete that though because i already have it in my document so you're going to want to put it into a folder where you can have it just saved naturally uh so i just put it in my documents folder but really make sure that it's just on the same drive as your baldur's gate 3 so i have mine on my main drive and same with the documents here and then once that is done, that's really the next step. It's going to have some extra guides there if you do get stuck, but I'll walk you through all of these here. So uh, with this, we're just going to go into the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager itself. So it's just going to load up. You'll see a little eyeball, which may freak you out, but uh, duplicate mods to delete. Cool. Uh, so we'll delete that. Yes. So we're cleaning things up there. But you can see here, I already have a ton of mods already installed. It says 144, but I actually have more than that. Um, so with this, you're going to have all the mods. Now there's a correct step. There's correct steps in how we're going to do this. So we're going to want to make sure first that we go into our settings and uh, there's going to be the preferences here. And this is going to make sure that we, we have the game that path data in the correct place. So typically this will already load it up for you, but it's just going to be your program files, steam, steam apps, common Baldur's gate three, and then data files. So that'll work it there. And the game's ex executable file is going to be in the same path there. Uh, you don't have to play around with anything else here. Just make sure that that is all correct. And you're just going to save that if need be. I have the script extender, but these all don't really mean much. Uh, you can use shortcuts if you want. But once that's all done and dusted, uh, we're then going to check to make sure that we have our profile set correctly. So there's a public or a debug client profile one. So it's important to make sure that this is on the public there. So make sure that you do have that set to public. Uh, as that's where most of your save games are going to be. Although, uh, sometimes I do end up loading my debug client profile. don't know how, but uh, yeah, public's going to be the main one. Mod load order, it's going to be current there. And then make sure the campaign is set to main. So all three of these things have to be set correctly uh, in order for this to work properly. But it's likely going to have that already installed properly, so not a big deal there. But uh, this just ensures that it loads correctly. So... The next thing we're going to actually have to download and install some mods so it's actually pretty straightforward there's a few things we have to do we got to save and export every time that we add mods in so with this i'll just show you i got a couple of them prepared here so this is just a simple fairy hairstyle mod by uh yipley yi so we're just going to go nexus mods here you can find a whole bunch of different mods on this website so it's just on nexus mods under baldur's gate 3 you're just going to hit download uh, and typically there's a ton of different options here so this is what the mod manager looks like itself if you're looking by popular all time make sure that they are updated for patch 7 that's another thing because some of these aren't already updated so yeah if it says anything under after like february 5th it's going to be updated so like things like the npy is updated Baldur's gate 3 mod manager no longer works don't install this if it says that you need this this is built into the game now so that's just one little asterisk i wanted to make here because some mods will say even the updated mods will say you need the Baldur's gate 3 mod manager or mod fixer it doesn't need it also some mods like the 5e spell says so updated august 19 2024 this one works on patch 7 so don't limit yourself you can try do a little trial and error but uh once you have the mod here, oh, you just go click in on the um, download there, and it'll bring you to a download. There is the mod manager download if you have Vortex. I don't really like using Vortex when the mod manager itself works so smoothly. And some mods don't actually work with the Vortex. So, 
yeah, once you have this download, it's going to it's going to trigger the download. Just give it a few seconds, and um, I guess I have to be downloaded or have to be in, logged in. So once you're logged in, it'll have a little button there that says uh, slow download. You're just going to slow download it. And again, you have to make sure that you're logged in. If you can't see some explicit mods, you do have to go set your parameters in your um, in your profile itself. So that is another thing you may have to watch out for. So once that's done, uh, we will have it downloaded and installed into our game drive or into our downloads folder. So, and I'll also install this Merkel's weaponry mod too. So you just go and download there. This one should work a bit smoothly. So, so just a slow download there. Download will start in five seconds. And then we got our fairy hairstyle here. And the next one is installing or downloading. So we just got to go extract all similar to what we do with the mod manager itself. It's going to extract that. And then uh, we do have a file here that we're just going to go into the mod manager itself. And we're just going to simply take the fairy hairstyle pack, drag it and drop it. Now, some mods need to have a correct load order. So I usually put these in the middle because some of them have to go. So we need to have the community library. The VFX, if you're using the VXF, VFX library and uh, other ones here, these have to be the very top. And then down here a little bit, there's another mod that has to go in the, it has to go after some of the classes in order for them to load properly. So the compatibility framework, I always drag this down to the very bottom because this one is going to have to come at the very end of the mod mode, the mod load order in order for that to work properly. So just straightforward like that. And then I'll also extract the Merkel's weapons here. So this is now extracted and we get the pack file there. So we're just going to go back into the mod manager and drag and drop this in. So it's really as straightforward as that. And we're just going to move it around there. Next, the last step that we got to do is we got to go and press save. So this saves our mod load order and export it. This will export it to the game. And then you may be able to use the, the loader here. This does load a different version of the game. If you're using the, uh, if you use the, DLX 11 version, it won't load that one. It'll actually load the other version of Baldur's Gate 3. So you may have some issues with that if you're using that to short as a shortcut. I did have some comments related to that in my previous video that I was covering this. So just be mindful that may not work properly. So just a little heads up there. But uh, yeah, we want the Direct X 11 one instead of Vulcan. We're just going to load into Baldur's Gate 3. And as you can see, we got our fairy hair cell mod loaded in here. This is a really cool one. It's got nice physics to it and the ability to be able to dye your hair and give it a lot of color freedom. So this is nice and uh, very easy to do. So I also can't show off the Reaper or the uh, Cleavers mod because those are actually in different locations. So I have to go hunt them down and uh, it does have a, another mod that allows you to get them earlier. But yeah, this is just proof that it works. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I try to do my best to get to them as quickly as possible and help out wherever I can. So yeah, hit that subscribe button below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.